Hello and happy Thursday. It is February 22nd. I am MJ and this is the general reading for the collective and today I'm using my Raven's Dream Tarot and you know I've had people ask are you going to do a third printing? Yes. Yes I am. It will be a pocket size deck and when that releases is still TBD. However, I am also going to do a second printing of Unfinished Business and that I will put up on the site today, tomorrow, depending on my timing. My kiddo has a couple appointments, uh, doctor's appointments today. So if, depending on my schedule, if I can get home in time, um, otherwise it'll be up tomorrow. Anyway, that is happening. And then um, I'll give it a few weeks to, uh, you know, to accumulate the pre-order so that we can get it to the printer so we can pay the printer. <laughs> and get it running. So, all right, let's dive in here and see what we have going on energetically speaking. So the first card is that energy that's, oh, hello, he just came right out, didn't you? The Page of Cups decided that's the energy that's going to influence us today. And when we have this energy of the Page of Cups, you know, we're more uh, open and, and heartfelt in our decision-making. We're we're more inclined to maybe put ourselves out there, to wear our heart on our sleeves, to take a risk perhaps, um, you know, in the area of bu building a relationship or starting something new. Having this Page of Cups energy influencing us today, you know, we're gonna be more social. We'll be more inclined to engage with people, maybe people who you don't normally uh, connect with. But today you might be extra chatty. You know, you might find yourself at line, you know, at lunch and, and striking up a conversation with someone who you've seen every day, but you just never thought to, to talk with. But today, because you have this influence of the Page of Cups, it starts this new relationship. So let's see what we have here for the upcoming situation. And you can see here this raven is, is um, you know, his wing is kind of covering the fox's back, letting it know that, you know, it's protected. So it can go out and explore, it can try new things, you know, but there is that reassurance that it will be, you know, uh, nurtured along the way. So, ooh, hello. So in walks this opportunity to connect with something or a situation that's going to come up that will have you feeling more hopeful, more optimistic. Uh, maybe that conversation that you strike up with someone will inspire you or inspire your own ideas to try something new that moves you from a place maybe of feeling, you know, a little bit of you know stress into a place where you feel confident in your skills a place where you feel resilient and and hopeful however this energy appears there's no denying it it's going to illuminate a situation that will make you feel better it'll make you feel more um at ease and don't mind i have dogs now that decide they want to wrestle in front of me. Uh, <laughs> so here, the star is a beautiful situation to walk into. And then when we're feeling that influence of the Page of Cups, we're more receptive you know, to what the star offers. We want to know more. We want to stand in that light of the star, feeling that hopefulness, right? We wanna feel connected to the people perhaps within that situation as well. So let's see who's showing up here. Who's Who's coming in as that uninvited house guest? This is, you know, an energy that inserts itself into the situation. And, you know, they contribute to the star energy. They bring something to it that is unique. So here... We have this three of pentacles. So this is about teaming up with people. This is about, you know, utilizing your talents, your innovation, while at the same time, recognizing that there are people around you who contribute their talents, their originality. And when you work together, you create something so much bigger, so much more expansive than maybe you would have done on your own. So this opportunity here, when you're feeling open-hearted, when you're feeling like, putting yourself out there, taking a risk, being vulnerable, and you find that there is a situation that, you know, highlights your strengths and highlights your talents. What you do is 
you attract the, the support, the supportive energy of the Three of Pentacles. You attract people who want to be part of that cause. You know, that, that they too want to stand in that light of the, of the star and feel that, that energy and to find that, that um, you know, that path forward that brings you to a place where you are confident in what you're doing, that you feel that resilience, that you feel hopeful for the next phase. You know, this is, this is lovely. And whoever this is, however this Three of Pentacles comes in, their approach is collaborative, right? They're not there to step on toes. They're not there to overshadow you. They're not there to replace that star. They want to work with you. And it's that page of cups influencing you that will be receptive to striking a balance with this individual or these people, working within a teamwork, finding the strength in numbers versus going it alone. So let's see what the overall advice here is. Ooh, I love the Queen of Wands. Okay. So this is an opportunity for you to step up, be a leader of sorts, maybe. You know, uh, not only are you open and, and putting yourself out there, feeling, you know, that it's okay to be vulnerable, expressing your ideas, expressing your beliefs, attracting support, finding reasons to feel inspired and hopeful, you also have within you this commanding presence, right? It's your creativity that is overflowing right now. It's your ability to, um, to bring on board people who can share that vision, who understand, you know, that you are, um, you're, you're like the driving force here. When you step into the shoes of the Queen of Wands, you're unstoppable, right? You're focused on creating a healthy environment for everyone to work in. You're focused on striking that balance where you're pushing, you have that drive for success, while at the same time you, you understand that people have their needs and their desires and you're, you know, there's that wisdom that comes with the queen of knowing how to work within a group, of knowing how to push people, maybe, you know, to, to drive a project, to drive an idea forward while still keeping everybody on board, keeping everybody as excited and enthusiastic about the goal as you are. So lean into this energy of the Page of Cups. It will open you up to new relationships. It will allow you to take on that role of the Queen of Wands, to step into the shoes of that dynamic energy that, that she possesses. And you have a situation that's on the horizon right now that's just beginning to move its way into the present that will have you feeling hopeful. It will have you seeing perhaps your situation from a different light. You'll see the opportunities perhaps where maybe you saw obstacles in the past. It's like all of the obstacles will be washed away in that light of the star. And in doing all of this, you open up that door to receiving the help and the insight. And yes, you, you are uh, a force of nature here, especially with the Queen of Wands, but there are other people around you who have a vision and who bring talents to this party that will benefit you all. So use them, you know, use those talents to and get the most out of the situation. Share in the success, share the light of that star so that it's not just you who's rising up, right? A, a rising tide floats all boats. And that's what you have this ability to be. You have this ability to be a leader that helps other people find success as well and help them live in, you know, their queen of wands, in the shoes of their queen of wands. And to, to be, you know, able to express their individuality in the context of bringing a group together. So I hope that makes sense. Much love, peace, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.